Ashwang are the most feared of the supernatural creatures on the Philippines. They can enter the body of a person and through this person they inflict harm on those they dislike. Most common are the female variety who appear as an ugly old woman with long unkept hair, bloodshot eyes, long nails, and a long black tongue. She has holes in her armpits which contain oil. This gives her power of flight. A being of enormous power, she can transform herself into any shape, even inanimate objects. She preys on children, pregnant women, and ill people. Once she has overpowered a victim, she will take a bundle of sticks, talahib grass, and rice or banana stalks and transform these into a replica of her victim. This replica is sent home while she takes the real person back with her. Upon reaching its home, the replica will become sick and die. The victim will then be killed and eaten. She is said to be particularly fond of the liver. This is Bernard from the Philippines. He was born near Mount Canalone, where the Ashwang allegedly lives. These are some of his thoughts and experiences with the Ashwang. The Swang smells really bad, like dead rotting animal, but some of them, especially the women, are beautiful. I call them day walkers from the movie of Wesley Snipes. They are so ordinary in the day, but when the time at night, they become hideous creatures. They do not attack victims unless they defeat them in a mind battle first or in dreams or a nightmare. It is not true that they attack humans like some kind of wild animal unless they are starving. It is true that they eat animals too, but raw. The heart is their favorite part. When it comes to eating humans, they love the unborn. Why? This is their source of immortality. I have explained this to my friends and they agree except for one thing that when I try to explain why the unborn is their favorite food of the Aswang that is to prolong their life and most of the times I look like an ass trying to explain. One thing I noticed the unborn has a tremendous source of stem cells. Once the baby has oxygen influence in the body, the body starts to decay in a very very slow process, revitalized when we grow because we eat. We sleep and we relax and some other things we do. To the Aswang, the unborn is a very precious price to have. My great grandfather is a shaman and it runs in my blood. That's, that is one of the reasons I can feel things which are unseen and able to ward off some things like Aswang when it came very close to me. When it was trying to kill me in my dreams, I woke up because the smell is so terrible and I saw it traveled out of out of slit of the window, of a wooden window rather, becoming like an insect. I got up and tried following it and it's gone, but I know it's hiding somewhere in the dark, lurking, looking at me because I can feel it. But I'm ready to fight with all of my strength if it will attack me openly. The swan do not have black, like wings like in the movies. It has wings like that of an eagle, but only all black. You will feel them if your skin expands and the shirt you are wearing on becomes stiff. This is the effect of their presence against our molecular structure and it's like the full moon that is close to earth that, is, that almost lifts waters that causes high tide. You also have emotions and feelings. They can be offended and maybe even friended. I remember the last time I visited our province back in the early 90s. We rode an old vehicle going to the mountains where there are villages there where most of the field workers are living. Up until now. That night I feel something is not right because someone is watching me and trying to get my attention. 
Now when I was lying on the mat that night, the mat is laid upon a segmented bamboo floor and the bamboo floor has a space of three feet above the ground which makes it possible to some animals to hide under the house. I was seeing myself from under the house and it's so strange that it felt, it felt like that I was in someone's body and it poked me from underneath. I saw myself being poked and I even felt it to my own body that somewhat it is me doing it. And that's very strange, I know. The night goes a bit deeper and I think it's 10 or 11 when someone from outside the house is calling my name with the voice of my grandmother. Of course, I thought it's my grandmother, so I replied, Yes, Grandma? My grandma heard me and she said, What are you trying to answer? I am here in the next room with your cousins. I replied, I heard you from the outside, Grandma, and it was your voice. My grandma was laughing and she said to me like, oh you boy, you go back to sleep. But that, that for a month, I was always sleepless. Because I'm always disturbed by the things that is happening every night. In that six months or so, I have experienced many things like hearing creatures passing by our Nipa hut. And it was chased by dogs. It is really hurrying up and was panting really bad. People heard it but ignored it when the morning comes but some folks talk about it. This is very surprising to me. I know people heard it that night and heard the dogs barking so loud that it even made the other dogs chase it. Now why the heck the people in that place don't investigate? Maybe they don't want to be dis disturbed with their everyday lives or you know they just want something normal. I asked the old people about it but they deny things they know to be true out there it goes out in the night. Thinking that I do not know anything, they always say, Nah, just some dogs in the night, you know, dogs do bark any time. In that six months, I had many experiences of the unknown, like this creature called Sigben. This came to me, looking up to my face with its red eyes, its hands in clasped position, its body is covered with black short fur. Sigben has bigger lower body and a torso is small, with arms like human but feet like of a rodent. I'm not sure of its real looks, because I was in a telepathic state when this Sigben came to me, but it is all according to what I remember. So what is the Ashwang? Is it some kind of alien? Or is it some kind of undead creature? Or an unknown cryptid? But due to the wide range of ways that this creature manifests and appears to people attacking them in their dreams, it seems to me to be similar and very, very close kin to the demons or fallen angels that are in the scriptures. But we will let you decide. Comment and subscribe. Thank you.